completing my series on the Mercedes ABC suspension, I've received numerous requests, requests for additional information, requests for how to do this, people asking, do you sell coilovers? What do you recommend? And so on. And the questions, I just cannot answer them all. There's too many. So what I decided to do just a few weeks ago is to complete a video I've been working on that will take you through the process of doing this conversion yourself, and it will answer a lot of questions like, how do you get rid of the ABC warning light? What about ride height? How do you adjust the ride height properly? And I'm going to include a lot of different tips and tricks that I used when I did the conversion on my own car. And I want to explain right away that I do not sell the coilovers. There's lots of companies out there selling them, and this is what I've used, but you need to know I cannot claim that this is the best one out there because I have not installed others to do a comparison. This is a rear strut for the coil over conversion I used produced by Hero Performance. That's H-I-R-O. So you can just Google HeroPerformance.com. I think there are three reasons why I chose this strut. One is the quality of manufacturing. Two is their attention to corrosion resistance. And number three is the tight coil windings here at the top. The fact that this has got 24 clicks of adjustment on dampening. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen how hard I drive this car. In fact, if I tighten down the dampening, I can do a 40 mile an hour turn in this and virtually get no body roll, almost exactly like the ABC. But the trade off there is you get a pretty stiff ride. But I've also come up with three kits that you might find very helpful if you're doing an ABC conversion yourself. If you watch my series on the ABC suspension, you know I am not a fan of trying to remove all the carpets from the trunk to get to the top of those rear struts. That's absolutely ridiculous. So I learned how to cut a hole in the correct location. Then I came up with these covers to cover over the hole because if you install coilovers that are adjustable, you're going to have to have holes in your carpet anyway. So why not cut the holes? And that will allow you to remove the struts, install the coilovers, with ease compared to the couple hours you'd spend messing with those carpets. So this kit will give you the sharp tool you need to cut the carpet. It'll give you the pattern you need, where you're gonna cut the hole, that's very important. It'd be cut in the exact position where you can get to those two nuts. And then I provide these covers and some Velcro so you can just stick these on over the holes once you've installed and made the adjustment. Some of you will recognize this bushing. It's a common bushing on a lot of Mercedes. This is the outer bushing on the control arm where it attaches to the knuckle or the hub. I call this the hidden bushing because people can't see it, so you don't know if it's going bad. The only way you're going to really know if it's going to bad, you start feel movement in the rear end. It wants to steer itself. From my experience, this bushing starts to go bad at 100,000 miles. It depends on how hard the car is driven. So I recommend if you're doing a coilover conversion that you just plan to replace this bushing right here. Now, if your car has over 150,000 miles, you might want to replace a number of bushings in the rear end. But this is the primary one here. I only sell quality bushings, and I've come up with a press tool right here. Watch as I demonstrate how I use this to just recently install these in my own car. And I will be putting these in some of my other cars because you cannot believe how many <laughs> vehicles use this bushing right here. I will be selling two bushings, a couple of special tools, and this press tool together as one kit. Now this is one I really believe in, and this is becoming a very popular kit on my website. I know there are a lot of people who, when they do the coilover conversion, they just leave the original tandem pump in place, and they're told to plug off the hydraulic lines and just leave it. Well, the problem with that is, <laughs> what if those hydraulic lines start to leak? You know, what if the pump starts to fail? It's already old. It makes a lot of noise. It's heavy. Puts drag on the engine. And I couldn't believe the difference in acceleration when I got rid of all the weight from the ABC system and got rid of that big, heavy tandem pump. So my kit includes a pump just like this. This is a standard M112, M113 power steering pump. And I include... The original tank, get rid of those tanks that clutter up your inner fender panels. And this original tank bolts right on to the top of this. 
I have to include a bunch of extra hardware because you're going to have to do a tapping for a bolt hole. But everything lines up. And if you want, as an add-on, I recommend installing a magnetic filter. This will really help. I'll show you what this looks like if you haven't seen it on my website. But this magnetic filter is going to really help to keep that power steering fluid clean over a long period of time. So this kit is already available on my website. I recommend if you're doing a coilover conversion on an early ABC car, get rid of the tandem pump and just pull all that extra stuff off the car. I've been running my website now for 25 years. I remember I got onto eBay in 1999 when it was brand new and I typed in Mercedes and 75 items come up. For fun, just go type in Mercedes now. <laughs> Millions of things come up. And it was kind of fun in those early days. You know, we started selling little fuse kits and little things on eBay back in 2000. And that's how this business got started. I've enjoyed, you know, doing all those videos on YouTube over the years. I think there's 3,200 of them now. And I just want to take a moment to thank all of you who followed me and who've purchased product from my website. Because without that type of support, you know, these videos wouldn't exist. And so if you find these videos helpful, if you, you know, work on your old Mercedes yourself, I would ask that you consider, you know, purchasing products from my website because that really helps me fund the videos that I do on YouTube.